<laughs> Greetings guys, it is Stokecraft, and today I am finally showing you a replay again, guys. It's been a while since I've shown some proper World of Tanks content on the channel again. Just a replay, just playing me, and this time we're again looking at the AMX M4. Again, the AMX M4, why? I think this is a really interesting tank to uh, look into. Because as I said previously on more videos on the channel that this is probably one of the worst tanks tier for tier in the game. But nevertheless, this tank can be really good in some situations. But it is really hard to get it into that situation. And that is why I think that this is one of the hardest tanks to master in World of Tanks. So let's look at the tank in a bit more detail. It's pretty much got no armor. At most it gets 100 millimeters. Only place where you're going to bounce something is here in the gun mantlet, but that's it. The gun also has some really bad characteristics. For instance, a really bad accuracy and a really long aim time of 2.9 seconds. There's one thing that is really nice about this tank, and that is the penetration. This tank gets 212 millimeters of penetration, which is very good for tier 7. And now we're off to a really bad start here. Exactly the thing that I didn't want to happen happened. A Cromwell showed up. I'm in the middle of the open. I forgot almost no cover. And I'm spotted and I'm getting shot at by everyone. And as you guys know by now, this tank is not going to bounce anything whatsoever. Not anything whatsoever. So, I'm just hoping I get unspotted right now. But as you can see, that pretty much ends up as a disaster as well. I peek out thinking that I was unspotted, I was not. And I think, okay, let's get the hell out of there. So, I've now lost half of my health. And as you can see, I went up onto the hill. Which is a pretty campy thing to do. But to be honest, I didn't really have a choice. Because have you, have you seen what happened in the beginning of the game? At my spawn point, spawn point 1. Uh, I was there with 300 other tanks that were, I think, almost tier 6. But almost, they were all tier 6 tanks and they pretty much all went away. So there's no use for me going to that flank alone because this tank is not capable of doing anything on its own. So there's the Cromwell again, or there's another Cromwell I mean. Luckily it's a one shot for me and immediately I go into some cover. And I unfortunately take one more shot, which is pretty unfortunate. And now the Cromwell comes up, I'm thinking, oh shit. Luckily, I am behind the rock and somebody on my team takes him out, which is really helpful. So we're now going to get him spotted again, hopefully. So guys, let me give you a bit of an update before the replay gets to more, what's some more action. As you can hear, my voice is pretty broken pretty, yeah, right now. And that's because this week I went to school camp with... Uh, uh, the first graders of my school have had a lot of fun times. It was an amazing camp. Disadvantage is that um, I pretty much lost my voice. But it's almost back right now and I didn't want to leave you guys out on nothing. So that's why I still made a video. Also, I see that my channel is growing pretty quickly at the moment. My subscriber amount is going up little by little. And that's that's what I want. That's That's perfect, guys. Also... I've only got two more weeks of very busy school um, and then I've got pretty much no more real heavy lessons which means that I have practically got holidays then so expect a lot of good shit from me then <laughs> but for now you're going to have to deal with this replay first <laughs> but I'm not sure it is going to be that bad because yeah this tank is pretty interesting and pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh well. Guys, as I said, this tank can't do anything on its own. That's why I'm sitting here at the hill, just taking opp opportunistic fire. That's pretty much the only thing I can do right now. I everything is risky. Everything is risky. Luckily, there's a T3485 that shot me in the side a few times. Feels very good to put a shot into him. Also, T1 Heavy in the open, of course. You can put some easy shots into him. He gets unspotted, but luckily we see the shell disappear in the air. And we know that we have damaged this tank. And we managed to take the kill. 
Did you see how much the, the shell deviated for my aim there? That was just a ridiculous amount of deviation on that shell. But it doesn't matter, we still took him out. So, right now, I'm really thinking about what I can do now. Because as you can see, there's only less than 5 minutes left on the clock. The scores are even, but only just. They've got some really big heavy tanks still alive, with a lot of health. I've got less than half of my health left. There's a T-34 and the F5 down there in the open. So if I want to go down there and rush towards the enemy cap, I will get shot. Luckily it gets spotted, so that means that I've got uh, all the room that I need to relocate towards the enemy base. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. The only way we're going to certainly win this game is of course to try and cap. And that's exactly what I do. I want to go towards the cap as quickly as possible. Unfortunately I have no idea where the comet is. The Tiger has been spotted on the other side of the map. And there the Comet gets spotted. As you can see he's got 1050 hit points. So that tells me that he has got the stock turret. Which is good to know. So the thing is the Hellcat is there fighting the T-3045 on his own. He was easily capable of taking him out on his own. Because as you can see the Hellcat has got a really big health advantage. But as the Comet is going after the Hellcat as well. He's pretty much doomed right now. I try drive this way a little bit to see if I get the, sh the killing blow on the T-3045 but unfortunately the Comet and the T-3485 attack the Hellcat which leads to his demise but it doesn't really matter I still have to try and continue I have done much too little for this game to end up in a win for certain already so you can see the Tiger has got still a thousand hit points and there's this M4 E8 Oh, a, A3, A2, A oh my god, it's a lot of fucking letters. <laughs> Doesn't matter. As you can see, my team is furiously fighting the Tiger and the T37. And uh, flanking shots that are coming in from the E2 aren't very fortunate. So my plan is to take out the E2 right now. And to try and see if I can uh, stop the crossfire there. But I see I have a shot on the T37. I take him down. And now I want to quickly go for it. Because as you can see behind me, the Comet is on the hill. He's got some clear shots at me if he kills the SU-100. So I want to take this guy down and quickly and take the lower ground so that I have cover against the Comet here. So as you can see the scores are very even until my team loses another two tanks. And exactly the thing that I didn't want to happen happened. I'm getting crossfired right now. I immediately repair my, my engine and I ram this guy to death. I don't want to lose any more health. I've only got 200 hit points left. The Tiger will kill me in one shot. The Comet will kill me in yeah, two shots. But still. Luckily the Tiger isn't putting attention to me. So I can put a clear shot on his side. He's on uh, 100 health. So it would be nice if he can take this guy down. Luckily one of my teammates does it for me. So now we know that the Comet is on the hill. We have no idea where the Panzer 38 NA is. We don't really care because the only thing we have to do now is cap. And as we have more than uh, two people on our team still alive, we can of course easily make it. But the thing is that I was really uh, afraid at this moment that the Comet would come after us. And that is exactly what he does. He's still got eight, 800 health points. And that's his advantage. He's got the health advantage. So I will never be able to cross this open ground towards the cap without uh, dying. So... My plan was here to put the Comet into a crossfire. Because if I manage to, to, to hold him there, he will not be able to reset the cap and then we win. So that's exactly what I try to do now. The Comet is, is stupidly staying back there. And then the siren goes off again. I try to aim for his tracks, but it doesn't quite go where I wanted to. And the Comet show, blows away. I try shot in the tracks again, but it misses again. Luckily, the Comet misses. He's got four seconds left to reset. And he gets the bloody reset off. Oh, my God. He gets the reset off. Uh, luckily, I'm going to take him out now. And I collect myself a very nice Top Gun medal. So, the only thing that I can do now is hope that I can make it to the gap on time. Unfortunately, it doesn't look that fortunate for me. As you can see there's only 20 seconds or even less left on the game. And I already needed to be into the cap. So it is pretty much going to be a horrible defeat for me. Although I have done what I could 
to take down the win into this game, but unfortunately, I am not going to be able to. Before watching that, this replay, I really thought that I was the one uh, losing that game because of my greediness. But after looking back this game, I think that I really could have been able to win this game. If only the shots at the Comet that I aimed at his tracks went where I wanted them to go. So guys, that's an unfortunate defeat. And what a victory this would have been. Still, it was an amazing game and I've got nothing to complain about. And if it wasn't for that pesky PZ38 and A at the end of the game, if he had showed up and we would have killed him, then we would have won as well. He hadn't been spotted the whole game, so let's see what he had achieved this game. You have got to be kidding me. Anyway guys, really good game for the AMX M445. This was only my 17th game in this tank, and I hope I will continue playing that tank well. So far, I've done alright. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like as it did put a lot of time into making this video. And subscribe if you haven't already. I hope to see you all at the next video, guys. Bye. Tracky.